Okay, hello everyone. Um, I just want to make a quick video about um, my experience with radiation. I, as I posted in a few of my other videos, I had cancer last year and I just finished treatments. I did four months of chemo and I just did 12 treatments of radiation. I finished it up about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And uh, it's interesting. As you know, you lose your hair with both. Um, but when I got the radiation, I got it on my neck. And because I had Hodgkin's lymphoma with the nodule cell type, whatever that means. And um, with chemo, when you lose your hair, it's kind of like it comes out in spurts, you know? Like you can pull it out and uh, it just falls out in the shower. You have handfuls of hair because chemo goes through the bloodstream and it kills your hair slowly. So over a few weeks, you're losing your hair. It's radiation. Uh, after maybe 10 treatments of it, you go every day, it just kind of falls out. It, it's crazy. Um, I was eating at the Waffle House the other day, and I had a goatee, and uh, I saw hair in my food. I looked down, and there was a hair, or not a hair, but a bunch of hair in my omelet, or on my omelet. And I, um, I looked at it, and I looked at my friend, and I was like, oh, that's disgusting. Because obviously my hair is not that long. Um, and, you know, he said, well, it's not their hair. It's, you know, it's, it just looked like mine. And uh, I looked, and all of a sudden, like I had the goatee was right here. And uh, I wiped my face, and half of it just fell off. And uh, it shocked me, you know. I mean, it's just your hair just coming off as if it was just kind of glued there you know, no feeling of pain when it was coming off. It just swept off like it was dirt. Um, and what proceeded to happen later was I had to shave it because, as you can tell, this line, half my face doesn't grow hair right now. So, uh, this is normal hair growth. I had to shave in like three or four days, maybe two or three. And then I got a little bit right here <laughs> that grows, and the rest of this doesn't. And there's a spot under my chin. It's really worrying me. And if any of you all has gone through radiation, let me know if this will ever grow back. Okay, this is probably hard to see in this light, but this all right here has at least uh, specks of black where it's trying to grow back. But there's a spot under my chin right there that is just smooth. It's very smooth. And that's where the uh, goatee was. So I'm worried that won't grow back because of how smooth it is. Um, plus, being right under my jaw, I don't know if that would affect it at all. But, um, yeah, also, the radiation hit the back of my head. See, uh, it's kind of it's weird with radiation because it's only, that hair loss is only in the spots where radiation hit. Nothing over here is lost. But, uh, so I got this haircut, uh, Monday of last week. Today is Sunday of this week, obviously. And, uh, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and cut it again. Because, as you just saw, and I guess you just saw, it's noticeable again. The, the hair is lost in the back. But, yeah, this is basically just explaining the difference between the two. So if you're about to go through chemotherapy or radiation or both, if you're going through radiation and it's to your stomach or chest, you won't lose any hair on your head because it only affects the area you've been radiated in. If you're going through chemo, it's very possible you'll lose your hair. Probably, it really depends on the drugs. Uh, if you have Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, it's a toss-up. I mean, if, if you're using standard treatments, AVDB or I think that's what it was, VDAB or something, Adriamycin, Leomycin, the four drugs they use for that, um, then I think all four of those contribute to hair loss, so if you're on it for a little while, you'll probably lose your hair, or at least it'll thin. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of trying to share that it was kind of shocking how with radiation, it's quick 10 minute appointments every day, you get weekends off, and uh, 
randomly one day you wipe the back of your head or something and just all your hair is gone and you have to I mean because I had like a month of hair growing I mean it was actually looking pretty good it's coming back darker and it's so soft it's like a baby again I, I'm always rubbing my head but um it's crazy um so I guess I'll just have to wait till it finally starts to all grow back it shouldn't be too much longer hopefully not I read somewhere it might take three to six months before it starts to grow in. I know with uh, chemo, it takes a good month. Like I know a month after, it'll still be thin when it's growing back. You probably have to shave it until about a month after you've had it out of your body. But um, this video is heading on six minutes, so uh, I guess comment if you have any questions. Uh, if you're going through it, I know what you're going through. And if you've been through it, we have something in common. Uh, I guess watch some of my other videos if you want to. Subscribe, rate. I'll probably have more videos about cancer at some point. Just because it's something I went through and it's something a lot of people go through. And a lot of people know somebody who went through it. It's not fun, but I mean, when you're all done, you look at life a lot different. So, yep comment subscribe rate oh I got this new tattoo uh, hold on let me see if I can let me see if I can do this it's uh it's a bird with the cancer ribbon right there and uh I kind of got it because I needed something on that shoulder to balance them out. But, so yeah, it's the bird dropping the cancer ribbon. Because I dropped cancer. <laughs> so, uh, I guess rate, subscribe. Thanks.